Yeah, so I was going to um, show the improvement of the pasture. I've got, um, I'm going to show some photos of before, three years ago when I bought this place, as compared to now. Now at this time, this was all, all um, dirt and rocks and ragweed. And now we've got a nice Bermuda. And it's filling in really nice. And we're, um, the cattle have been off of this for about a week now. And this is where they were pinned up, so they eat this down pretty low. Um, and it's been extremely hot, and we've been without rain for going on two weeks now, so everything's slowed down. But, um, let's see. The dirt's almost all covered now, and a lot of Bermuda, as you can see, and the cow patties, which it's been a blessing, some dirt here, but um, along it looks pretty darn good compared to what it used to be and um, this is looking real good I've got my brush pile here and um, you can see this area, the Bermuda is just, I mean, it's like a carpet, just beautiful. And I would hope within a, another couple of years, I'll be able to get all of this in this condition. But I think um, just a prime example of the regenerative process is this area. Now all of this, last winter, well, all of this last fall was bare ground, like you see here. And uh, it's below these two big oak trees on the hill here. And I've been feeding hay here all winter, so this is what we've accomplished so far getting some growth here there's the um, remainder of that bell the cows cattle didn't eat so bare dirt obviously um, just um, terrible soil quality and after feeding hay up here now we're starting to see some grass. And look at this, Bermuda really taking off here. And this area um, is where I cleared all those trees with a chainsaw last summer. Again, it was just all bare dirt, but um, it's coming along pretty nice. And we got these weeds coming up, and the weeds, that's how the whole place was, just uh, mainly um, weeds when I bought it. And those weeds are actually, um, they're beneficial to you in the beginning. The weeds are the, the pioneer species. They... Um, they come in first because they can put down deep roots. And those deep roots they put down are able to pull up nutrients from down deep and bring it to the surface. And then with mowing um, those weeds all the time, you put that those nutrients right back onto the top of the soil. And uh, before you know it, those Pioneer species start to disappear. They're choked out by the grass that's coming in. 
And uh, yeah, I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about about the progress I've made here. And I mean, just look at this. It's all Bermuda, a little bit of ragweed, I guess. And um, but this is what I want. I want every inch of this farm to look like this, and it will. Uh, but it takes time, and if you're buying a piece of ground that is terrible soil like this, it's going to take time. It takes several years um, to get it to looking good, but you can do it, and um, once you get some grass growing, you're able to graze some cattle on it, then it really accelerates because the cattle were doing their part, and... Um, fertilizing and um, and those border collies just look beautiful standing in that green grass don't you Scott